Well, I, I'll talk about the hip. I have, have had a bit of arthritis in the hip, which got progressively worse. I, I love walking. I would walk up to 11 mile a day, and in fact, I still walked despite the pain. I'd always say I was going to walk it off. Uh, and, and I would after a mile or two. And on the 6th of January this year, I went out one morning and yup, I was brought to a juddering old. I didn't walk anymore. Uh, I, I had to get a lift everywhere. It just all stopped. It wasn't just the arthritis. The hip went or wore down or whatever happened. Anyway, I asked my GP because it was taking so long to get seen, could I get a referral to the Runnymede? And I went to the Runnymede. I think it was Mr. Schofield he sent me to first. And Mr. Schofield had a look at my back. He said, it's not your back, but I think you have a problem with your hip. Uh, Mr. Michael is in this evening. Would you like to see him? I said, yes. So I saw him. He'd done an x-ray. And he said, well, you do need a full hip replacement. And I had to wait till the 15th of May to get the full hip replacement. And uh, the pain was unbelievable from the 6th of January. I never slept more than two hours in any night. It was impossible to rest. On the, 6th of Ju on the 15th of May, I had my operation and totally vanished. Wow. Uh, I, have, I came home, I had the operation on a Thursday evening I came home on a Sunday and I have never even taken a paracetamol for my hip since I came home. So your pain reduction then is... is it's total. Complete pain it is total. Pain that, is I mean, I do have bits of arthritis which a man of my age has in your back and in your limbs, but all this is gone 100%. I don't feel anything from it. And did you, I mean, you were, by the sounds of things, in quite a lot of pain before oh, your operation. Absolutely terrible. And terrible. Mobility, you know, up and down uh, stairs? Well, no, I, could, I dragged myself up and down the stairs. I would grip the banisters and haul myself up. I mean, I couldn't go on like that if it was long term, hauling myself about. Yeah. But I was hauling myself up the banisters with my two hands. I, I did nothing after the 6th of January. I came to a juddering halt. It is hard to believe that. Mm. It was so bad. So tell us a little bit more about your experiences at the Surrey Orthopaedic Clinic and Mr. Michael. The, the clinic were uh, very helpful, very uh, friendly. They all seemed to uh, have this, they were very friendly. But Mr. Michael was wonderful, very straightforward. He told me what the problem was. He wouldn't give any guarantees, which obviously you can't, but he said, I'm quite sure that you'll be up and walking again after the operation and that this will remove a large amount of the, the pain you're suffering. It's removed all of it as it happened. So you felt well informed, you felt like Very well. and your expectations have been met or surpassed uh, or not quite reached? Uh, everything was, was lovely, there was no problems at all. I, I came out home on Sunday, didn't expect to be coming home so fast, but I was happy to come home. But everything, yes, they, I'm not one of these people who make too many demands, but anything I wanted was there and available. And staff were very friendly, very helpful. Good. So if you, if you, what would you say to somebody then that was considering having a hip replacement and, and, and was sort of apprehensive or concerned, you know, what, what, what would you say of your experiences if you were going to offer Absolutely nothing to be worried about. Get on with it. I've actually told somebody that already. 